particular kind of uh, protocols for to support aging eyes? So eyes are really interesting. I love. I am not an ophthalmologist at all, but I but I am sort of like in, in, intrigued by the eyeball, and so. I know it's just really, it's just amazing <laughs> structure, right? I mean, it sounds kind of pathologic, but I, I love this, right? So as you age, several things fall apart. Number one, most importantly that everyone sees is presbyopia, which is the inability to focus up close, right? And that has to do with glycation or stiffness of the lens, right? Yeah. The lens is really interesting because you try to block radiation out of every other part of your body. We cover ourselves in sunscreen, we, you know, but the lens is attracting it. So there's a heck of a lot of free radical damage in the lens. And because there's not a whole lot of blood flow, there's not a whole lot of endogenous free radical scavengers. On top of that, it gets horribly glycated. So your, your lens is just a sit and duck. So what's amazing about this is everyone gets presbyopia roughly the same time right? Pretty much everyone in their mid forties pulls out their reading glasses in a restaurant. I know you've probably been out to dinner. Everyone passes their glasses around. It's kind of, kind of ridiculously pathetic, but they do. Right. But what's interesting is so if presbyopia is your only problem, carnosine eye drops are amazing. So it's, it's the same thing that you would orally take, but it comes in an eye drop. Um, I've been using them now for a decade and my up close vision is perfect. Wow. It might not be true, but it should be true. Uh, there's a, a fabulous Russian study. They gave these eye drops to, I don't know, half a million people and their, 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 their vision got significantly better. So it's truly amazing. And it also reduces the risk of cataract. But they actually give these eye drops to dogs to cure cataracts. Like, Lord forbid we ever said to a human, we could cure your cataract because then the ophthalmology people would go out of business because they wouldn't you know, be able to charge $5,000 to take out your cataract and put an implant. That being said, this will reduce the risk of cataracts. I mean, will it get rid of it completely? Probably not, but it will prevent a lot of this stuff. So that's one thing that goes wrong with your eyeball over time. The other interesting that changes is the rods and cones in the back of your retina deteriorate, uh, right? When people are driving at night, they can't see as well. And that's because cones are for color, rods are for black and white, and they just deteriorate over the course of time. And eye drops don't usually get to the back of your retina. So that's something that comes through your, your systemic vasculature for the most part. Um, and so different agents that, that are required by the rods and the cones do better there. Astaxanthin is a fantastic example. Astaxanthin was fantastic. It helps your vision as do the other xanthins, the zeaxanthin, and there, there's a few xanthins, but if you ever look at eye health, it's all the xanthins. And it's just because those are the molecules that are required in the rods and the cones to keep your retina healthy. Um, the other one that's really good is the SKQ1. Uh, it's called Visomitten. It's another eye drop uh, discovered or invented by the Russians. These guys are amazing. Um, before COVID, you could go on any Russian site and order Visomitten eye drops, and um, it was fantastic. Uh, it's it's harder to do right now. Um, you can get them on eBay, but Lord knows how long they've been out there. Um, but SKQ1, when it becomes more available once again, it's amazing for eyes and it goes specifically to the mitochondria. Um, it's a strong free radical scavenger and it just really helps vision. 